<laughs> I mean, firstly, he just said crispy and never in my wildest imagination did I ever think I was going to hear Top say crispy. And then he went on to say shit you not. Twice. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to my channel Herrera here I hope that you are all doing well you know we watched that live concert together and I came across those songs that I hadn't heard previously well I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna listen to them properly to find out what I'm including in this video and to make sure that I haven't missed anything please have a look at the description below this is a mix of music videos with English subtitles, of course, and lyric videos I'm really excited to get into this can I tell you that still alive I'm so glad that this is an actual song. I did think that it might have just been like an intro. Guess who's gonna be listening to this song for the entire day today? Me. So this song is very like unapologetic in the sense that it just gets going. It does not give your ear a single second to even adjust to the fact that a song is about to start or that anything's happening, there's a story being set, nothing. It's like, get on with it, listen to us, go. Now usually I would be mad that Taeyang's not singing full out because I love to hear it. I love it when he gets all singy and when he gets all like runny and whatever it is that he does, I absolutely adore that. However, that, the fact that there was just like, it didn't sound like there was a breath taken in that whatsoever and he just ran with it and it was moody and it was a little bit like lower than it usually is was just gorgeous I really think that Big Bang are revolutionary in the fact that their rapper, one of their main rappers, takes the chorus. Like, I just don't think people do that in this day and age, even like time has moved on, people have progressed, and rappers don't really get the main chorus. But in Big Bang, they do. <laughs> My god, these people are like way ahead of their time, aren't they? Sing it again. 
After everything that's happened, I feel like this song is resonating with me a lot, and I just, I feel really upset. Suddenly, I feel really upset. They have no time to mess around, do they? It's just like, get going, get the message and move on. We've got bigger stuff to do. We've got bigger fish to fry. Um, they're just so intense and I love it so much. Like, attack me, kill me, do everything that you want. I am here and I am ready for it. But the meaning of that song is so much more than maybe what it was back then. It seems like they've had a troubled career. I say troubled, but an incredibly successful career as well. I think sometimes those people that are troubled are the ones that are equally as successful, like just world-class level successful. Um, I really love that song. I'm going to be listening to that a lot. And I'm so glad once again that it's a full-blown song. <laughs> Any other group would sing this as a ballad. <laughs> Oh my god, why? Why? Why do they have to make such great music? This is just torture. Oh my god, I'm sorry but Ding Sang is looking all boyfriend and I'm just really not ready for all of that. What the hell? Get off him. <laughs> Hey, 
it's interesting that Big Bang's, um, all of their albums and their music is more like a timestamp. And it tells you more about their frame of mind at that particular time rather than the trends. So although I'm thinking 2011, this kind of music was really popular. Actually, this kind of music has always been popular, like for as long as clubbing has existed. Um, But I think this is more telling of what was going on at that time in their lives, in their relationships, um, especially GD's relationships. Um, But yeah, like as I keep saying, I keep hearing other songs in the in the music as well. So I keep hearing bits of Monster in this. It's really odd. <laughs> Their albums seem to be very coherent and stick to one story. And they tell the story of that time. There is so much going on in this that I am just not ready for this today. I honestly did not wake up thinking I'm going to get Daesung all boyfriend and then all hot and sexy and lovemaking. And I did not think that I was going to get to see GD wearing a jacket like this. Like, what the hell is going on today, everyone? There's too much hair. I can't really see what's going on because of the hair. Such a beautiful night. That's creepy. <sighs> Good night. It's creepy, but it's still sexy. I'll let him have it. It's because it's his voice. <laughs> I really love that song so much. And I never in a million years thought that it would have a music video to go with like that as well. Um, they were definitely in some sort of a mood in that time, right? 2011. So 2010, late 2009, they were in a right mood, weren't they? The minute they do anything that sounds remotely nostalgic, I just feel really sad. Like, I just feel it in the bottom of my stomach that I just, uh, I hope they come back one day. And I know they were kind of back earlier this year, but it's still not the same. So when you're composing a song and you're layering up the different aspects, the instruments, the effects, the voices, um, you don't even need to put Big Bang's voices on the top of that track. You can try and bury it underneath all of this sound and it still does not bury those five individual solo artists. Boom, boom, pal, what about 
noise here yet you can still make out how distinct their voices are. Groups have it the other way around and they still struggle to have the distinct voices pop out. They'll sing you a whole damn ballad and you still can't make out what that voice was. give us like some music in that zone it would be so fantastic i don't even know if that's a real genre if i've just made that up well that's another song i'll be adding to my playlist and listening to all the damn time who knew that there were still so many songs. I feel like my playlist is going to have every single Big Bang song on it because they don't have typical B-sides. They don't have songs that just slip away. Every single damn song deserves a music music video. The thing is that I think YG are successful enough to go back and give them a music video for every single song. I demand it right now. Maybe. <laughs> Hidden talent? Maybe. One for the money, two for the show. We got the party people screaming now. Here we go. This is definitely the big bang that I love. Let's go. I love them all though, really, in every zone, in every era. They really did that girls on car thing, wow. This is pretty raunchy. I'm messing with this beat, we're pressing the crispy. The heart is water, get down with it. I make your bounce to this. Every ounce of this, I shit you not, and it's the shit you not. You know, I kiss the yeah. spot. <laughs> I mean, firstly, he just said crispy, and never in my wildest imagination did I ever think I was gonna hear Top say crispy. And then he went on to say shit you not. Twice. <laughs> 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 
I really love this so much that it's making me cry. <laughs> Are those the beginnings of twerking? Oh yes. I do. He's just fantastic. He fits so well in this zone. Just love him so much. I think that might be one of my most favorite songs that I've ever heard from Big Bang. I kid you not. That is just, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Like, I'm almost speechless. If I didn't remember that Top just said crispy and shit you not, I would be speechless right now. Honestly, I would be. That's, it's so fun. It's so different. And I love all of this, like, talking about booze and talking about girls and the cars and the scantily clad women. And this is so, like, the era that I kind of grew up in, I guess. This is kind of, it was like moving away from this into, like, modern day. But I just feel like I lived through this. Like, this is my life. I wish I'd been in the 20s at this time. I think it would have been fantastic. Like, be Big Bang's age at that time. Oh. It would have been so good. I love that song. Does it have more live performances? <laughs> 